They said that you were requesting an officer? I just need a complaint form. Okay, what for? Uh, to file a written complaint. Okay, what for? That's, I'll deal with that when I've got the complaint form. Okay, Who, what, what is the complaint about? Um, I don't feel comfortable giving it to you at this time. I'm okay. just asking you to give me the form. Do that. Cool. Hey, thanks, Ash City. Yeah, just I mean, I just noticed there's already cameras in here, so yeah. you know, they said it's not nice to film people without uh, without their permission. I said, oh, you know, who's, I hadn't thought of that. that? Um, one of the ladies in here. Oh, they do. And I, you know, I understand where she's kind of coming from. Yeah. So like, I yeah. thought um, maybe we can get to work taking the cameras down then. What do you think? Taking the cameras down? Yeah, these ones right here. Because no. she said it's not nice to film people without their permission. Oh, no, those cameras are going to stay. Okay, I just, yeah. you know what I mean? Just You're in a public of... building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those cameras are there for everybody's safety. Oh, yeah, no, it's just based on her logic, I thought. Oh, okay. Since it's uncomfortable, I guess, for people to be filmed yeah. without permission. Right? I got no problem. But you, yeah, you keep yours no up, I keep mine up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's all good. It's yeah, all good. yeah, yeah. We'll be good. That's unbelievable. I'm, I'm glad you came out to talk to me. I was yeah, getting bored. Of course. Well, come on. I'll walk out with you. Oh, okay. You know, sure. Because I like to know everything, you know? I'm going to go check out this cool video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go check it out. Yeah, let me know what you think, man. Okay, I'll check it out. All right. Three officers circled my vehicle and my home for a few minutes. The next morning, the trailer had a flat. There was a screw in the tire. Did they do it? Oh, I don't know. But they were circling around it. Yep. You like it? It looks a lot like one of yours. The, you guys drive up the Tahoe's a lot, huh? Pretty sure, yeah. You gonna put any, uh, how many miles you got on that thing? But I've got a flat. <clears throat> I don't know if I've got something on the tire or if um, the cops let air out of the tire. I'm gonna go fill it up and see how it does. I mean, I've got jacks, I've got a spare. You know, typically I only, I only stay for about 20 minutes, but uh, at this point, I think I'm going to go camp out in the lobby and make sure that there's not any other effery afoot here. Because that was uh, some serious intimidation attempts there. Uh, complaint form? What? Complaint form? That's irrelevant. Um, I mean, I can get an officer down here for you if you need. That's why I'm asking. Okay. Um, so there's no form. It has to be done on the computer over there. Or, or can I go? Officer. What's that? Or with an officer. Okay. Um, so whatever form is on that computer, can I get it on my computer? Is it online? Is that what yes. you're telling me? Okay. Police.amarillo.gov. What is it? Police.amarillo.gov. Can you write it down for me? Uh -huh. I'll remember that for about four seconds. <clears throat> and there you go, that's the website. Okay. You can do that at your house if you'd like, or anywhere else that you can have access to a computer. The library is. Okay, and uh, how, do you, how does the department go about processing complaints here on officers? They're processor or internal affairs. That's all I know. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Computer here, police.armorillo.gov. 
after a few minutes of trying to figure out where this complaint form is online, we realize it's not there. Right, I'll ask them to help me navigate it. Hi. Um, I can't find where to uh, file a complaint against an officer on there. I would think it would be one of the main headings, you know. Well, I imagine so. That it's, I, don't know where it is. I imagine people wouldn't file complaints if they can't find out where to do it. Is there not one on there? A complaint? I mean, I've looked, but it's I don't see anything. Okay. You want me to call for an officer, and you can do a complaint with an officer? If he wants to bring me a form, then sure. Yeah, you can have an uh, and by an officer you mean maybe a lieutenant? Uh, I have no idea. Who's okay. Available. All right. Yeah, I, I mean I have no authority on that, but okay. I can call for an officer. Okay, and I'll I'll tell them what to bring me then, I guess. Okay, thanks. So I typed in the search, officer complaint. How do I file a complaint about an environmental nuisance? I mean, it, how much more keywords could you possibly use? How do I file a complaint about an on-site sewage facility? How do I file a food establishment complaint? Drainage complaint? Um, if you have a complaint concerning police services, including a complaint against an officer or a complaint alleging racial profiling, you may let us know about your complaint in one of these ways. You may contact the officer's supervisor by phone, call 806-378-4231 to speak to a uniform division supervisor. You may make a complaint to the Amarillo Police Department Internal Affairs Investigator in person, by mail, or on the phone. Your internal affairs office is on the fourth floor of the police department. There's the address and the telephone number. Amarillo Police Department is committed to fair and equitable treatment of all persons. We investigate all complaints and allegations and strive maintain a professional and well-maintained staff of employees. Oh, and here's the, here's the threat. Texas law requires that all complaints against officers be in writing and signed by the person making the complaint. Filing a false complaint against a police employee is a violation of the Texas Penal Code, Section 3702. Um, if a person knowingly and intentionally makes a false statement under oath or swears to the truth of a false statement previously made under oath, a person may be found guilty and punished by a fine up to $4,000, confinement, and jail for up to one year, or by both fine and imprisonment. What if cops make false reports? What happens to them? Nothing. So the answer is no. There is not a complaint form online. said that you were requesting an officer? I just need a complaint form. Okay, what for? Uh, to file a written complaint. Okay, what for? Let's, I'll deal with that when I've got the complaint form. Okay, Who, what, what is the complaint about? Um, I don't feel comfortable giving it to you at this time. I'm okay. just asking you to give me the form. Okay, and then I'll all of our complaint information is right there. Okay. Go read that and that'll give you all the information that you need to file a complaint. Why the Lying. Why? Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god, stop <laughs> lying. So you guys don't have a form? Uh, they, that's how you get the complaints, is all through there. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying. See. There's a complaint concerning public service, it's right there if you want to read through that. I'm gonna keep on lying to you. Yeah. Until you think it's the truth. If you, he wants to follow it. Well, I want a complaint form. We don't have a, just a complaint form. I know you fibbing. Who you know you can't help it. <clears throat> okay. That I can mm. give you right now. If you go through internal affairs, you can fill out a formal complaint. Okay. So there, that, it's, it seems as if it's uh, conveniently difficult to 
for me to file a complaint in a way that's comfortable to me. Well, I don't know if it's comfortable or uncomfortable. That's just the process. Right. If you have a specific complaint I can address right now, I'd be happy to. Mm. Um, well, like I said, I'd like a complaint form. Um, yeah. Then I could take it and uh, mm -hmm. fill it out, write it out, get in touch with internal affairs mm -hmm. directly. Um, but I, I really don't have a desire to... I mean, you guys are intimidating to me, so... Okay, you well... Know. That's just, you, you called us up here. Yeah. Right. Here. You're, well, you called us and now you're saying we're yeah. intimidated. Well, I, I told them I need a complaint form. I didn't ask for three officers to come and surround me with guns and, you know. I just, you asked to speak to a police officer. Well, police I, officers come, come in pairs. I understand what they told Something you. Something like this, they call supervisors. Okay. That's why you have three officers. Okay. It's very, it's very logical. Okay, I understand what they told you I asked for, but what I asked for was a complaint form, not All a we can go on is show what of force. they asked for, and this is not a show of force. Merely speaking to people is not a show of force. Um, what's your name? Sergeant Finsterwald. Sergeant Finsterwald. Can I, uh, how do you spell that? Can you spell that for me, please? F-I-N-S-T-E-R-W-A-L-D. And uh, what's your badge number? 76. 76, thanks. HBO Matt. name, please. Officer Wheeler. Officer Wheeler. And what's your badge number, please? 1473. Thank you, sir. No, no. Officer Leonard. Officer badge Leonard. number 1466. Okay, thank you, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, like to file a complaint, but I'd like to I do it in a way that's comfortable to me. I understand what you're doing. You're so. trying to entice us to uh, oh, do see, this something. Is, see, this is why we're, um, people like me are uncomfortable filing, filing a complaint. It's as simple as you give me a form. I've been to so many departments before mm -hmm. where all you do is you hand me a form, you so walk away, like a test, and I walk like away. Is this a test? Us, you're testing us somehow? It's, uh, well, if it was, you'd be failing. All you need by to, what standard? By the people's standards. You're making what, it very difficult. Look, you're telling me that I need to jump through some hoops to file a complaint. Is that right? Yes, to speak to internal affairs. I okay, where are they then? Can, well, then why are, if I need to file it with internal affairs, then what are three officers who are not internal affairs doing here? Because our internal affairs works business hours. If there's a specific complaint that I can handle right <clears> now, that's why we have on shift supervisors. Okay. So right, if well, there's a specific complaint, then I can help you right now. If you want to speak to an internal affairs investigator, they work business hours Monday through Friday. IA is on the fourth floor. Yes. Yes. All right. It's very simple. I mean, I know Batusai understands uh, a heck of a lot better about the laws on. Uh, how they're supposed to be handling complaints and complaint forms. I thought, I mean, I've never been to a department that doesn't just hand me a, a, a form. Uh -huh. I, just, I, just, I just haven't dealt with this before. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I've, I could probably find the form that they would give you if that's okay. all you're asking for. Yeah, that's, that's all I've been asking for. Okay. Yeah. I could probably, yeah, let me go see if I can find it. Yeah. If that will solve the problem. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. Okay. Um, and then, you know, maybe in the future we could make it easier for the next guy and just. I mean, I'll take that if up you, with internal you, affairs and the higher ups. Information act, you, you, you'll, you'll see how simple, how many investigations we do. I mean, we're, we're pretty friendly as far as people handle, uh, handling complaints. Okay. Um, by your standard, whatever it is, you're saying it's unfair or difficult. Well, that's not the consensus that's reached in Amarillo. By the police that investigated themselves? You, so you guys are okay with your own process. Did you ask the people making complaints if they're okay with it? Yes. Okay, cool. I'd, I'll, I'd like to see that yeah. too then. Yeah. I'll look it up though. I'll, I'll see if, yeah. so is, is, can I find that in, in records? People. Uh, you have to talk to somebody in the records division yeah. okay. for that. But, but yeah. you're telling me that there are numbers for satisfaction on, on complaints filed with the department. I'm just saying you're making a lot of claims. I wouldn't even ask all these questions, but you're making a lot of claims, so I'm trying to verify. I'm sure if you look it up, you'll get those numbers. But what I'm saying is, we have not received many complaints that this is a difficult, mm -hmm. difficult process. Okay. I think a lot of people kind of just go with the flow because they're scared. Well, that's a speculation. That's speculation. It is. It is definitely a speculation. And now I've made a claim. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what I think. That's I'm, I'm going to make that claim. Yeah. But, uh, I think people kind of just go with the flow. And like I said, though, yeah, if we can get a form, be, that may be true. I don't know. Yeah. But we got to get that feedback. Right. Yeah. Let me yeah. go see if I can find that yeah. form. Yeah, I mean, you guys have been decent today, yeah. too. I'm really, I know you guys think I just yeah. come here to start crap. I mean, you guys are just walking a fine line be, between being awesome and being, you know, yeah. I don't even know where you guys are at. Really, you're, yeah. you're, you're confusing the hell out of me. Um, 
But there's a few simple things that I, that I come, came looking for. I would have been gone a long time ago. I had some issues though. Now I just simply need a complaint form. You, you, yeah. you kind of treat me like I'm trying to cause a problem or, or something. Well, we, know, we, know what you're, we know what you're trying to do. I mean, and, and that's right there. Yeah. That statement right there tells me that you don't have any clue. Um, you well, you're, well, you're making similar statements that I've heard in the past where by merely, t merely talking to officers, that's a th you're, you're perceived to be threatened or something like that. Uh, you know, if, if we can... I, let me, yeah, figure, yeah, 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 I, I got to. If we can have a conversation, yeah, like you, then that would be awesome because when I make that statement, I, I believe it. Yeah. And so, um, so when, when uh, police officers' lights turn on behind you when yeah. you're driving, that's not... That's not comfort and safety that most people feel. Um, when I talk to individuals, yeah. they tell me it's a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of panic, oh, absolutely. a little even bit of for, fear. Even for, uh, even for me, if yeah. I see a cop turn around and mm -hmm. I'm in my regular ride, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. So, I mean, I'm not trying to exaggerate something here. It is genuinely, I mean, when you guys come around, it's... Yeah. There, there's but there's some, a difference between anxiety, a mild amount of anxiety, and fear. You know? I, I think it walks a, a line. Yeah. I mean, I, I've seen that line teeter over pretty, pretty easily yeah. where I go from, you know, just being anxious around some people who, and, and, and I don't have that, that anxiety and that fear with people in other professions. I don't have it when yeah. I go to the doctor. Or it's, maybe some people do. Yeah. I don't have it, um, you know, when I go to the grocery store with the clerk, mm -hmm. right? But I do with you. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to calm down a little bit here as you're mm -hmm. talking to me like a human being. And, and stop pretending that I'm trying to do something here that I'm not. But um, you, you, the, the problem is, you're kind of just you guys are just brushing off things that I believe are serious issues that I wanted to take care Nobody's, of. Nobody's so. well asking for a piece of paper. Yeah, and it's that simple. That's really yeah. all I wanted. Yeah, that's that's really all I wanted. And um, sure. And when you I said first you, came you in, said these today, are major issues. What are, what are the issues that you're looking to solve today? Um, you know, like I told him, um, we we were in call this. Uh, so, have you guys seen people coming around doing this stuff before filming police departments? Yeah, I'm aware of it. Yes. Okay. Now, all we're looking for is that you guys respect our rights and we move on and we go on our way. Okay. Our, our right to film our public servants. Um, people should be able to film, especially on a traffic stop, when you come and contact us. To me, that's the main goal, is that when you come and contact me and I start filming you, you understand I have the right to do this and you're not going to stop me. Um, and but wait, so, what can we do today? Just going to pull up that form and see if we can print it off. Okay. So I just came out here to do that today. Now, you guys were wonderful. The, the gentleman, the, the sergeant, seemed like he was wonderful when he was right here. We were having a conversation. Um, and then he tried to pull some intimidation tactics on me. Now, I know what it is. All right. You know what it is. At the, there's 733 people watching now. There was 500 earlier yeah. when it happened. They know what he was doing. They know what you guys were doing. Um, and, you know, that's fine. It wasn't illegal. It wasn't, uh, you know. Okay, well, what, what can we help you with today? Though? Well, now I need a complaint form. That's okay. what I'm going to pull up. Yeah. Is there anything else? No. Okay. Well, then, like I said, we'll get you that complaint form and we'll go from there. Yeah. And then, and then from there, I'll get with higher ups on trying to make sure that complaint, complaint forms are easier to get a hold of, that we don't have to stand here and talk for 20 minutes about getting a complaint form. And if that makes the process easier for the people, then I'm all for it. You know, it's not, we're not here to make that thing, make that situation difficult. Um, I'll be honest with you, people don't, don't regularly come down and just ask for the form after hours, so. Yeah, I understand. And if it makes it easier, then that's, that's fine. It's, it, it can be intimidating too, though, when, when we ask for a form and you guys want to know, well, wait a minute, what do you want to complain about? Mm -hmm. And then well, I feel like my words are going to get twisted or maybe I'm not going to yeah. say something right because yeah. I'm, I'm maybe flustered or whatever and my words are going to get taken and used against me. Well, that's uh, why when I, when I ask you that, I, I ask about the complaint because is, is this a complaint that we can address right here, right now? Mm -hmm. Or is this something that has to, is going to have to go through our like, internal affairs? Right. That's why I okay. ask you what kind of complaint it is. Okay. Because if it's a, it's a minor complaint that you just need to speak to a supervisor with or something okay. like that, yeah. I'll forward you to him. If it's something that you feel needs to go further than that, that's where our internal affairs will come. Yeah. That's, why okay. I, that's why I ask okay. about what kind of complaint it is. Okay, that makes sense to me then. Yeah. Um, but, you know, from my perspective, it's like, wait a second, is he trying to figure out whether he thinks my complaint is legitimate enough or yeah, not? That makes sense, or too. is he just trying to blow me off and get me out of here without any paperwork filed? You know. Yeah. Hey. 
we have a bunch of different people that can play on various different things. Like I said, that's why and that, some are minor that can be handled just by talking to, to a supervisor. Some of the people mm -hmm. just want to get some information. Mm -hmm. Others want to file a formal complaint. That's why mm -hmm. we're that's, asking. That's part of my job too, is to handle complaints. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm asking those questions. And to be honest with you, like I said, not a lot of people come to asking for a complaint form. It's really not the way standard way we do it, uh, but make a good point. If it makes it easier, then maybe we should just have that easily accessible. Mm -hmm. And maybe we do, and I just don't know. You know? Is that what you needed? I think that's it's got all the stuff on the front, and it should have the ad. Well, I don't know if it has an address on there. We can wrap the address. Oh. We can wrap the address on there. Aaron Fisher. Mm -hmm. um, this part. You would just fill out down here, and this is all your. This is your information, and this is the narrative, explaining what happened. Okay. Um, and then, part of this will probably be filled out by the internal affairs investigator. Okay. Uh, if you speak to them, so, um, like this is basically a, a, an affidavit just describing what, is, how the incident happened. Okay. So there, it's, there's that. All right. Cool. All right. Well, and like I said, that's probably decent criticism right there. Just having the form available for people. So. Yeah, I'll definitely. Uh, like, like I said, you guys haven't been. Uh, I mean, I was going to give you a hard pass before some things kind of happened. But well, and, and that's you know, honestly, I don't see that as much with the bigger departments, and the reason is because everybody's got different personalities. Yeah, and so I'll have an awesome interaction in the lobby, and then two seconds later, I walk outside, and somebody yeah. will. Sure. In, uh, but in one of the biggest things I look for though is good interactions with the higher ups. Yeah. Um, if I have a bad interaction with an officer, that that happens. Yeah. But when I have a bad interaction with a lieutenant or a, or a sergeant, that's when I really sure. think that there's going to be some issues. But, I mean, it hasn't been more, right? There, there's well, always we try, things man. we can work try. on. Me too, right? Yeah, we try. Me too. I, I could do better at what I'm doing here. Yeah. Well, All right. I right. appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, you too. Be careful. All right. Is that a, so it's your on Facebook? Or? Uh, it's on YouTube right now. We're, we're live on YouTube. 785 people watching right now. Nice. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, have a good night. So it was brought to my attention that even after this interaction, a lot of people contacted the department to make complaints after they saw the first part of this video. Even after it was made abundantly clear that you cannot make a complaint online, Amarillo Police Department staff and personnel continue to tell people that you can go online to make a complaint. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying. This video was recorded on October 31st, 2018. A handful of people watched it live, but after the live stream, it was set to private. And the edited version of the first part of the video was not uploaded until the end of January 2019. I think that the video made it abundantly clear to Amarillo Police Department staff that their complaint process is insufficient. They have been given three months to make changes, but have failed to make changes and are still giving people false information. I'm a about how the complaint process works. You can contact the Amarillo Police Department about their complaint process at 806-378-3038.